one of your contributors here. Here is my review for the new film Four Good Days. Now, I actually saw this movie on Friday. I mentioned in my review for it, but he uh, kept forgetting to uh, do it. But I gotta say, Four Good Days, which is an addiction drama, stars the likes of Glenn Close and Mila Kunis. And in it, uh, you've got Mila Kunis, who uh, plays this 31 year old named Molly, who uh, ends up begging her estranged mother, uh, Deb, played by Glenn Close. For help fighting a fierce uh, battle against uh, the demons uh, that had derailed her life and all, and she, you know uh, this, and so pretty much uh, Deb, you know, uh, shows herself into one last chance to actually uh, save her daughter, and so they pretty much uh, have to like, uh, so Molly has to pretty much stay clean for about uh, four more days, so um, so then, uh, so that way she can get like this uh, shot, you know, that will keep her pretty much from. Uh, you know, after four days, uh, she, you know, uh, has to take the shot that would, uh, you know, pretty much keep her from uh, doing drugs ever again and all. And so she has to try to stay clean and all that. So, anyway, now the movie is directed by Rodrigo Garcia, who also directed uh, Glenn Close and Albert Knob. She's directed some other stuff, too. I'm not joking. Four Good Days is literally in my top five. I mean, I, I'm not even joking. It's actually my number two favorite film of the year. My number one was probably Godzilla vs. Kong, and number two is Four Good Days. It's that good. You know, Mil Kunis, I mean, lately when you think of Mil Kunis, you think of mostly comedies, whether it's her uh, classic show, That 70s Show, or her voicing Meg on Family Guy, or her comedy films such as Ted, Bad Moms, The Spy Who Dumped Me, and all. Mil Kunis, I'm telling you right now, she deserves an Oscar nomination for this. She was terrific in this movie. You know, uh, she showed that she's not just um, a comedic actress and all. She could do drama well. We've seen that with Black Swan and now this. I mean, her, like, uh, the daughter and uh, mother chemistry between Glenn Close and Mila Kunis was pretty good. You also had uh, Stephen Root, who plays uh, Mila Kunis' uh, stepfather. Stephen Root is terrific. Uh, you also had uh, Len Joshua uh, Lander was in this. Uh, you had Ch Chad uh, Lindbergh, Michael Hyatt. Uh, you had some other interesting cast members. Uh, you also had Sam Hennings, who plays the role of Milton's dad. He was pretty good in this. Uh, this movie sadly shows you know what uh, people go through and you know with uh, you know with opioid addiction. And, I mean it's it's really uh, sad you know what people uh, go through. But this movie definitely, uh, you know, had great performances by Glenn Close, who of course just got an Oscar nomination for Hillbilly Elegy. Glenn Close, man. That woman is, I don't even know how old she's in her 70s now. How on earth has she not won an Oscar yet? I'm sorry. You know, how, she, even Hillbilly Elegy, which I did not even like um, so much, even that movie she was great in. You know, how on earth does she not have an Oscar on her mantle? Is beyond me. She could have won for uh for the wife, but of course I went to a little coma set for her. Of course, sorry for another time. Uh, but anyway, Rodrigo Garcia, um, you know, did such a good job with this film. Uh, like he, you know, uh, really like his directing in this, you know, was a really solid to watch. Uh, it was also produced by uh Joe John uh, Amanat, who also uh you know directed movies like Fried Green Tomatoes, The War, Three Crisis. You know, I know he did a pretty good job with the producing of this. Uh, it's definitely a really solid movie worth checking out. Uh, if you guys have not really seen Four Good Days, you can actually find it. Uh, it is still playing in theaters. Go watch it. I think you'll you know enjoy it. Uh, if you guys don't want to wait on that one, it'll probably premiere on. Uh, you can also um, buy it on Apple TV. It'll probably uh, play on VOD in May. Go watch it. It's a really solid movie worth checking out. Anyway, let me leave it to you guys. Have, did you have a chance to check out Four Good Days? If so, watch the over. Were you a fan of it? Were you not a fan of it? Uh, drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Super Sign Up.